I'm just about to head out to work. I'm a night shift nurse and I'm gonna be taking you along with me to see how my night shift goes. We work 12 hour shifts, three days a week or three nights a week. And this is my second night. I don't do three nights in a row, but I'll be taking you along with me to see how it goes. I'll see you then. Okay, I'm at work. I made it. I have probably like a minute left to punch in. I'm gonna about to put my mask on and then head in. Make sure I have nothing, you know, my face is clean. My hair I'm going to end up putting up before I go and get report. So I just got report and I have an 8 o'clock med. It's Zosin. If anybody's interested, this is the way to mix it. You open the vial upside down, the powder comes out and you can mix it a lot easier this way. No, That's a it's trick. It's still dirty. <laughs> So it's 10.30. I have two of my co-workers in here. So far at the start of my shift, it's not even four hours. I had an RIT. I had to transfuse blood. I had to call the doctor a couple times. I haven't even charted. And I also helped transfer the patient out to another unit. <laughs> so I'm very busy tonight. Hopefully things will calm down. I do have two empty beds and most likely they're gonna be booked before the end of my shift. I'll catch you up later because I am gonna eat this delicious food that we have in the back room. See you. Here's a little bit of leftover chicken. It was um, actually soaking into the lemon sauce. I don't know what it is exactly, but I'll eat that. And this is the lunch I prepared. There's some cabbage in here and poppy seed dressing. And then the ground beef in the bottom that's sauteed with onion and garlic that I cooked a big batch of. Oh, I forgot the cheese in there. But I'm doing low carb and this is my dinner that I brought with me. in the morning I'm still awake I have three patients out of my five possible assignment which is a miracle um, I can still get admissions through the night it's my break time between 2 30 and 3 o'clock but I had to take an earlier break I felt like I wasn't gonna make it I don't know this YouTube filming and editing is really take a lot of my energy besides my home and um, work responsibilities. So I hope I can continue to do this. Anyway, I'm gonna get a cup of coffee, get some energy, cause I still have a long night left. So no one's at the desk. I just had to call for blood work and no one's around right now. So I'm able to do a little talk of what I'm doing here this time. This is actually a nice looking unit. It does get busy, but for the most part, the patients are stable, except for this, the patient that I had earlier. But yep, 2.15 in the morning. Getting that cup of coffee. That's all I can say. So it's five o'clock. It's time to get meds and start vitals because right now we don't have any aid. <laughs> funny usually I have to change the shift and I'm about to go home I got my stuff and yes thankfully it wasn't a busy night Whew. I did it now I'm gonna go home and then I have to go to church all right bye hi so I didn't want to just end the vlog in the elevator and really not explain anything else about being a night shift nurse so last night was actually pretty good we did have some uh, discharges and a transfer and a few admissions 
but overall we had three nurses on a unit for a 15 bed capacity unit so with three nurses it is doable it can be busy depending not just the amount of patients you have but the acuity so last night we had a low census the acuity wasn't terrible we had me and another nurse so two experienced nurse and a newer nurse so um we had no aid but between the three of us we did it it wasn't a bad night we were able to take our breaks nothing really extra special went on overnight overall like this was a good night there could be nights where i don't even get out till like 8 30. so that would be a bad night um but tonight i was lucky so i'm glad that you came along with me for my 12 hour shift um, and saw bits and pieces of what i do we give meds we chart uh, we clean patients um, it's just a fact that's what we do we handle family complaints doctors everything nurses do everything basically you're gonna have to really like this job in order to be a nurse because if you go into nursing and don't really like bedside care you'll be in a surprise but there are a lot of other options besides bedside nursing but this is where you learn this is your foundation when you get out of school it's recommended that you get at least one year of bedside um, experience and then from that go to any specialty that you're interested in so for me i've been doing bedside um, medical surgical for 20 years this makes my 20th year i'm older now and I could feel it, but um, I still enjoy doing bedside. If I could do something else and not have to work five days a week, then um, I think I, would, I may be interested in that. But as you get older, you you tend to want to do something that's not so strenuous because physically um, you get more tired. But hey, you know, my unit overall <clears throat> is not terrible. The patients are stable. We don't have any telemetry in our unit. People makes it worthwhile. Um, if you have a good crew which it is and um, so I do love my unit so I hope one of my co-workers are watching this video <clears throat> because we do we all get along and that's what I like about my unit so um, I'm glad you guys watch this video I know it wasn't too interesting but um, that's my shift for what's today March 5 okay guys bye